I got some new stuff for you today. I'm gonna experiment a little bit. I, uh, I'm gonna be using my airbrush. I, I lost uh, the gun for my airbrush a long time ago when I haven't used it, but I finally got a new one and I've gone airbrush crazy. I can't stop. I've been making flowers nonstop these last couple of days. I made this one, which I'm kind of digging this. Turned out really well. And I also made this one. I got a, uh, a tutorial on this if you want to see how I made this. Um, so, but today I'm, I'm going to stop myself from making more flowers and I'm going to, I'm going to try and do something else. It's an experiment and it might not turn out all that great, but that's okay. We need to see the experiments and not so good stuff sometimes too on YouTube. So, um, I'm going to try and explain my plan and uh, then we'll get started. My plan is to have sort of a center right here and then work my way out um, in, in both directions and try to create some nice flow and um, kind of work in layers. Um, that's all the plan I have. Um, I'm just going to go with the flow. If it doesn't turn out the way you plan, you just keep working on it and see what happens. So I'm going to start out with, this is Pinata Sangria. Just going to dry that real quick. And I'm going to turn on the airbrush. I hope you can still hear me. It's going to be a little loud. We'll see what happens. I'm going to put it down so it, it goes into sort of halfway into the ink and then drag it out a little bit with the alcohol. Just let it sit for a bit. Just very gently blowing it out. And if I have too much at the end, I'm just gonna wipe it off with a paper towel like this just dry the last little bit i'm going to sort of do this side first because otherwise i have to keep turning the paper i can't blow in this direction i i don't know how to do that i always work this way so we're going to try a little bit of the orange. Whoops. This is always the boring stuff, waiting for things to dry. We're gonna do one more. Oops. Forgot to turn on the airbrush. I sort of have the airbrush sort of behind the ink and alcohol and just gently pushing it. Now this is sort of the part where I want to sort of work in layers. We'll see how much the colors blend in together. I'm not really sure. I'm going to try and do a tiny little one right here.
I kind of like that. We're going to try one down here too. If there's something like one of the edges you don't really like, you can always sort of wipe them a little cleaner at the end. I'm liking it so far. I think I need to add more color now, but I'm not quite sure how much they're gonna mix in together, but we'll see. I still have yellow. I haven't used that one. Should we do a little yellow here? I think, we'll try. I'm not actually sure how the middle of this is going to turn out, but that's the fun of experimenting. It might turn out really good. You never know. Oops. going to add a little bit of this one over here. Just a few drops. Takes a little longer to dry with the airbrush, but I'm going to try and drag it out in this direction, I think. This is not turning out at all what I was thinking, but I might like it. What do you think? Hmm. We're just gonna keep working on it. I kind of wanted some yellow in here, but I think I'm going to like mess it up if I try. Maybe right over here.
think I'm going to start trying and work in the other direction now and see what happens. See if I can use just the ink that is already here. I'm probably going to need to add some more, but we'll see. We're going to turn this around. I definitely need some more color. Trying with the sangria. try and make this a lot longer. I still have no idea what I'm going to do in the middle here. It's not looking the way I thought it would, but we'll make a plan. This is actually fun. The middle is, is a little concerning to me, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. I like the colors, I like the flow. <laughs> what do I want? I want some yellow in here, I think. I want a lot of yellow in this one. Yeah, I have a little too much alcohol on, on this one. Which color should we use? We need more orange, I think. And then maybe some green out here at the end. Also need something right here, don't we? Hmm. Huh. Intuitive painting, I think. Where where the mood strikes. Yes. Ooh. Didn't want that.
Yeah, that didn't really look very good, did it? We have to fix that. We'll see if I'm, I'm going to ruin it now. I'm going to try and fix this. Yeah, we're going to have to cheat a little bit and wipe this off because that's not pretty, I think. A little bit more. Like that. I know you're going to watch this video through and see what I end up doing in here, but I sort of feel like I want to ask you right now what you think I should do in here. Hmm. Well, you can't tell me until the video is done, so I'm going to have to come up with something. Should we do a little of the sangria over here, I think? Just a tiny bit. And then we need something right here or maybe just blow out the green a bit more I'm thinking about it turned out kind of fun that one I think really like that one just gonna wipe that off I'm not sure what to do over here should I add a little bit of color some orange maybe hmm do you ever get that feel so indecisive or yellow does it need a little yellow up there? Hmm. I feel like I actually want to blow this out a little bit more. Yes, I do. I'm going to try that. Yes, I like that better. It needed a little more length to it. It was too short compared to the orange. Oh, I'm loving these colors together. I feel like I want to do something right here, but I'm not really sure if I want to blow out the green or add a color. Hmm. I think I'm just going to try and blow this up a little bit. Okay, I think I'm going to stop with this now and I'm going to try and figure out what to do in here because this is not really looking very good. 
but I'm not at all sure what I want to do. But I'm liking this. What do you think? I think the colors work well together. There's a lot happening, but it's still kind of soft. Got some nice flow to it. I think I'm going to do what I always tell other people to do when you don't know what to do. Take a break. Leave it. Come back and I will see if I can come up with a good idea for this. So, taking a little break. I came back after about half an hour and I decided to do some doodling. Um, and I chose a white Posca pen for this. Sadly, the lighting wasn't all that good, so it, it, it looks less white than it actually is, but I'll show you the finished uh, piece um, in a second. So I chose the Posca and I considered using a black, but I thought that would be, it would sort of be a little too much and too much contrast. Um, I also considered using a color that would match one of the ink colors, but I thought it would might just sort of disappear a little bit. So I chose the white and I'm quite happy with that. I feel like it sort of fits the mood of this piece. These colors are very, you know, bright and colorful, but white just seemed like the better choice for this. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, I was experimenting a little and I had sort of a plan and this doesn't actually look completely like the idea that I had, but I actually really liked it anyway. And that's just something to keep in mind that even if it doesn't go as planned, just keep going because it might end up being a piece that you really, really like anyway. So don't be afraid to experiment. I'm going to show you the finished piece uh, now. And um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And um, if you have a question or something you would like to say just leave a comment below the video and of course you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel um, thank you for watching and I will see you again hopefully real soon